Hi there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks video with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me. It is spring here in Northern California. Yay! I'm so excited. I love the flowers. The flowers are blooming and the tulips are blooming and the roses are thinking about blooming. Anyway, I hope it's springtime wherever you are and you're enjoying a nice and beautiful spring. So today we're going to go back to the land of AutoCAD. Of course, we're going to talk about parametrics. We've been talking about them for the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to share with you some more tips that I think you're going to find really useful. Even if you don't do any of the other parametrics, you're going to find this tip to be helpful to you. Okay? All right. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Pretty simple. Come in here, draw my rectangle. Now, after the fact, this is just a polyline, really. It has no clue it's a rectangle. I can easily come in here and mess it all up. And it definitely does not look like a rectangle anymore because it doesn't have any rules on the geometry. And we talked earlier about that. I could go in and I could add some geometric constraints to that geometry and it wouldn't allow me to mess up my rectangle. It would keep it in the shape of a rectangle, okay? But I'm gonna go the lazy route. I'm gonna be extra lazy. Let's get rid of our rectangle. There is this very cool feature on the status bar, but you didn't even know it was there. Right next to the coordinates called infer constraints. And I'm gonna turn that on. That means that as I'm drawing, if AutoCAD can figure out any geometric constraints that it should apply to the geometry, it will do that. Okay, now let's see what happens when I draw my rectangle. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Ah, look at that. Some geometric constraints popped up. There's parallel, in case you don't remember, and parallel, and then of course we have this one perpendicular in there. Now. If I try to change my rectangle now, look, forget it, it's not gonna let me change the shape of the rectangle because of the geometric rules that have been added. And it was added without me having to do any extra work. I just had to click that one little button. All right, let's see what else. Let's do a little bit more. I'm gonna go in the line command. I'm gonna draw a line from this endpoint here up to this endpoint up here. Ah, see those little dots? That means that that line and that corner are coincident. You can actually see as I get close to it, can you see a little coincidence shows up over there? That's the coincident constraint. All right, there's one down there too. Oh, what does that mean? Well, if I try to move this line, it knows that it has to maintain that coincident on those two corners, and so it has to take the box with me. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. Let's do some more. Let's do a circle. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the midpoint of my line, and then I'm gonna do a tangent to this line up here, okay? All right, and you'll see there's a little tangent mark on there, so it knows that that circle has to say tangent to the box, to the rectangle. Now, if I try to edit, look at this, try to edit the size of that circle, it knows it has to follow those rules. It may even kinda of tilt the box for me in order to keep following those rules based on the inferred constraints that were added on. What if I try to move the circle? No, oh, that's not, the whole thing's gonna move. Absolutely, okay? Let's just do a little bit more. How about something as simple as just uh, drawing a line? I'm gonna draw a line. I'm gonna make sure that my ortho is on. And as I draw the line, if it's horizontal, you will see that it adds a horizontal constraint. So that line is gonna be stuck being horizontal, and that line is gonna be stuck being, well, vertical in this case, perpendicular to the other one. So as you are drawing, it's automatically inferring some geometric rules. So sometimes you may decide that you don't want that rule. If I try to take this line, I try to just say, hey, you're not going to be <laughs> horizontal anymore. Not going to happen. It's not going to let me change it. So that might bother me. So you can turn on and off inferred constraints anytime you want. They really do come in handy. Um, and don't forget, of course, you can always just delete a constraint and then it's gone and then you can break the rules any way you want, <laughs> okay? So if you get too many constraints, you can delete them quite easily. If you don't wanna see the constraint symbols, let's go to parametric. I did show this to you before, but you can hide them all. It looks like a regular drawing. <laughs> Have fun with your coworkers, put a bunch of constraints on their drawing, right? <laughs> and then these are all the constraints, incidentally, that could possibly be applied. Coincident we talked about, you'll also see collinear, where they're in the same plane there, the same line, uh, concentric, there's a variety of them, parallel, perpendicular, horizontal, and so on and so forth. And you'll also see that you have control over which of these constraints are applied automatically with that infer constraints. You can come in here, you can turn them off. For example, maybe you just don't want it to ever do the horizontal deal. You don't want it to ever add a horizontal constraint automatically. You can turn it off. 
You can turn any of these off. It's completely up to you, all right? So give that a try. Make your geometry smart and let AutoCAD do the work for you. It'll do it for you if you want it to. Just use infer constraints. It's super easy. All right, give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Enjoy spring.